Hey guys, Micah from Black Bear Custom Kydex. Today we've got a really special video. I'm going to be showing off the new Phobos Alaris. And uh, I've actually got two of them with me. One of them is currently engaged in uh, <laughs> foam press to make another couple sheaths. Um, but the one you're about to see could actually be yours if you play your cards right. Um, there's going to be a giveaway of this specific knife with a custom sheath and a variety of carry options that I've built for it so we're going to go through all that but first i wanted to just show off the knife this thing is really special guys and um, when you receive your box this is what you can expect um, there are a lot of different handle scale and blade finish options so go check out some different picks and uh, sites that sell so that you can get the specifics on it i'm not going to review the knife because that's not really my specialty it's not my forte um, but man this is seriously a special knife it really fits a category of its own it kind of covers a lot of the different things that usually you have to buy a variety of knives to to fill all the different voids but um, other than like being a large chopper I can't think of anything that this knife doesn't have so chopping I probably wouldn't bother chopping with it just because it's not that long um, but seriously everything else is um, is going to be doable with this knife it's a good survival knife it's a good I would call this definitely a fighter. Um, you could even use this as kind of like a chef's knife. Just the geometry of it, the blade profile, everything about it lends itself to being a super versatile and functional blade. Um, so without trying to fanboy too hard, um, I just want to get that out of the way. Nothing that I'm saying in this video is anything that I've been asked or told by Phobos to say. Um, so I want to I want to just give you full disclosure. They've given me free reign to present this as I see fit, and uh, I have literally nothing critical to say about it at all. Um, it's just a masterpiece, in my opinion. So please, guys, go check out this knife, um, and go check out uh, all of Phobos' stuff. Really wonderful company, good dudes, and um, the knives are incredible. So, all right, when you... Uh, take a look at the sheath that comes with the knife. I think they're going to be offering some leather as well, but I've got Kydex here and it's actually about as good as a factory Kydex sheath could be. Um, seriously, they put a lot of attention to detail in this. The fit on this is superb. There's no rattle, no play, doesn't fall out and it's got a nice ballistic one-handed draw. So I'm very impressed with the factory sheath. It's got a nice dangler set up and obviously lots of options for how you how and what you mount to it so very very impressed kudos on the sheath work that's seriously uh, super impressive for a factory sheath that said this video is mostly about the knife but it's also about the sheath that you could win if you win this giveaway so um, before i show you the sheath the giveaway is going to be run by phobos i'm just recording a video to kind of help get some visibility on it as well as obviously show off a really fun project that I've just completed. So go check out Phobos, follow them uh, for your chance to win the giveaway. I'm gonna put a bunch of links in the description box that include um, where you're gonna be able to get the giveaway. It's gonna include Phobos' social media and it's gonna include at least one source where I know that there are still some Alarises that are available for purchase. So there you go. Please go to the description box down below. I'm not going to try to remember all the links off the top of my head because I will absolutely screw up and butcher that information for you. So, description box, guys. All right. Here's what we went with for the sheath. They gave me free reign to design whatever I wanted to for it. So I thought what would match this nicest would be black alligator skin over Kydex. I think it came out really nice, and uh, we're going to go over all the details now. I chose to do a few different slots in it. So we've got matching slots down here for a leg strap as well as one slot here and the reason I put that there was to just kind of expand on the versatility of what kind of carry setups you have attached to it. So it'll take a tech lock, it'll take um, soft loops, it'll take a bunch of different stuff and you're going to have a lot of viable carry options included with the sheath if you win this giveaway. Um, before we get into all the carry setups let's take a look at the fit. Really nice click in. No rattle, no play. Excellent retention. Ballistic one-handed draw. It's really springy off of there. Very happy with the fit on this. It's, it's pretty much perfect. Um, now the first carry setup, one you're looking at now, uh, is the drop leg. 
The leg strap is optional. You can convert this to a dangler by removing it. A, a drop leg setup is just a dangler with a leg strap. And uh, the dangler on this is also convertible in the sense that it's a tech lock clasp dangler. You guys know this invention of mine from a few years ago. Um, it's a very popular option. It just quickly gives you the ability to switch to just a tech lock or switch back to a dangler on a whim. And it's as simple as just opening and closing your tech lock. Um, now, as far as the tech lock on here goes, you can see that it is mounted to a plate. This plate just gives you a lot of different ride height and angle options. Um, it facilitates, you know, basically with the wide profile of the blade. I don't want the tech lock to be too far up or down for an awkward carry setup. So sometimes I'll make a plate that fits, kind of spans across the blade profile and allows you to mount your tech lock at a variety of different angles oftentimes centered on the handle of the knife because it feels more balanced and more um, more natural as far as you know my opinion goes um, and because the sheath has this taper to it the plate is asymmetric and because I am who I am I got to make a mirror image one so that a left-handed devil child <laughs> might also be able to carry uh, in all the different positions so everything here is ambidextrous guys um, very important to me just in case somebody decides they need to or want to carry in a different position that they're able to do so. Now on the mirror image plate, I currently have mounted an option that's not on this plate. It will go on either plate obviously, um, but I just have it mounted to this one for now. This is a tech lock pivot plate. So you attach your tech lock to it and it gives you the ability to rotate your tech lock 90 degrees, stopping at horizontal and vertical carry options and anywhere in between. You can do this by just tightening your tech lock down to your desired level of resistance for the rotation and then being able to do that rotation without the use of any tools. This plate is made out of polycarbonate. This is the stuff that race car windshields, uh, riot shields, bulletproof glass, it's all the same material. It's a really, really rugged, dense plastic that you can expect to hold up on you really well with this kind of gear. Um, we also have some soft loops. <clears throat> now because the standard factory soft loops are a little bit shorter than these, a little bit too short to, to do all the things that these will do, I cut my own out of a spool of rubber coated nylon. I stamped them with my uh, BBCK lettering and obviously the good old flag of the USA. Embedded some pull the dot snaps on them. And these are gonna allow you to do a horizontal carry by wrapping them around this way. You can do that through any two eyelets. You can do it on the top or the bottom, it doesn't matter. You can also find a variety of different vertical carry setups where uh, you're gonna to wanna to basically run them through like this and thread this, the uh, loops down through your belt and back up. But this will give you another uh, pile of different carry angles and ride heights to work with. Soft loops are a great option for carry. Next up, we have a Baldrick sling from Beach and Tactical. Um, guys, if you're not familiar with Jacob Peterson, Prepper's Bunker Outdoors, Beach and Tactical, I would recommend you go check him out. He's got some really nice slings, um, rifle and Baldrick for knives, and uh, he's just a pleasure to work with. So I buy a lot of slings from him, as well as have him custom make me these straps, which are, uh, initially we, we were using them to build chest harnesses, and uh, then I discovered they actually function perfectly as a leg strap for a drop leg carry. So I kind of just buy batches of these, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it, harness arms, I guess, and uh, use them for whatever I need them for. So all of that's going to come with it. Now, additionally, you're going to get a chest, uh, chest harness, not from Beach and Tactical. It's actually from Holster Builder. I believe they make them in-house there, but I'm not 100% sure. We're uh, actually looking at the tag. It looks like it's Northwest Retention. Um, but this is a really nice chest harness. And um, <laughs> this one is Coyote Tan, but the one that I'm giving away will be black. I don't have it in hand yet. It's in route. I just kind of dropped the ball on ordering it in time. So when I get it, it'll ship out with this package and um, you'll also have a chest harness carry. Now the reason I included so many different carry setups is because I wanted to make sure that no matter how you like to carry your knives, you've got some kind of option here. That includes the factory sheath, which is absolutely superb as far as factory kydex goes. Um, you know what, not even as far as factory kydex goes, it's just superb. It's a really, really nice sheath. Um, so again, kudos to whoever built that, um, but I'm very impressed. 
So, all right guys, I think that's really all I've got to show you. Uh, went through a lot of information really fast, but I wanna make sure that you guys knew about the giveaway. I'm gonna publish this video right now. Uh, this is October 4th, the giveaway is October 5th, and guys, I've heard from Vega at Phobos Knives just an hour ago, if not less, that there are some some Alaris is still available at the link that you can find in the description box down below. So go check that out and order yours now. This is worth every single penny. Um, and honestly, for the stuff that I would be able to do with this knife, it replaces probably two, if not three knives in my collection. So really, I think this is a stellar deal on a blade. Again, I'm not saying anything that I've been prompted to or asked to say. This is all just my personal, honest opinion. So guys, please go check out Phobos Knives. Enter to win this giveaway. And I hope whoever gets it enjoys this uh, custom sheet setup, American Hornback alligator skin, all these different carry setups. And uh, of course, you're gonna enjoy this knife. I know it already. So, all right guys, that's all I've got. Like, share, comment, subscribe, share this with all your friends. And of course, stick around for the next video. God bless.